Hello everyone, I'm Ian Higton and welcome back to Swindon, an island so terrible it can turn tier 1 villagers into tier 2 villagers in an instant. Honestly, I have proof. One minute I get a notification that Sherp here is moving in, and the next, AnimalCrossingPortal.com updates their villager popularity list and polls him in at the top position in tier 2. Unbelievable. Anyway, it turns out this popularity list is updated once a month, so I figured, why not see what else has changed in the world of the movers and shakers of Animal Crossing New Horizons? Because, who knows, maybe you're unknowingly sat on a tidy fortune. So, who are the current top 10 most popular characters in Animal Crossing New Horizons for May 2020 then, and why are they so popular? Well, that's what I'm here to find out, starting once again with number one. Raymond is still the most wanted Moggy in Animal Crossing for the month of May, so that means, if he's a resident of your island, you're in the company of Animal Crossing royalty right now. This smug office worker can fetch between 15 to 20 million bells or around 1,000 Nook Miles tokens on the AC black market. So if you've grown bored of his antics, perhaps you could sell him to someone else who wants him. I mean, just think of all the things you could buy with that many bells. House extensions for days! So why do so many people want to whisk these wonderful whiskers away to their islands? Well, as one of only eight brand new villagers to the series, collectors aren't able to import him into the game by means of scanning old amiibo cards. More than that though are a series of unique traits that make Raymond very desirable indeed, starting with his complete heterochromia, a condition where the iris of one eye is a different colour to the iris of the other eye. In Raymond's case, this leads to a strikingly beautiful combination, where one eye is brown and the other eye is green. Raymond's personality is also one of a kind as well, as he's the only cat character in the Animal Crossing series to have the smug personality type, meaning he's very polite, kind and will easily get along with other villagers. Honestly, this cute cat friend is such a celebrity right now that he could even give K.K. Slider a run for his money. There's a new number two in the Animal Crossing popularity scene this month, so say hello to Judy in the Eye with Diamonds. This glamorous cub was also introduced in New Horizons, so like Raymond, she's also very hard to get hold of once you have her in your sights. But really, I think it's her eyes which twinkle like stars in a night sky that make her such a sought-after companion. To enhance her mesmerising eyeballs even further, Judy puts her makeup skills to good use by wearing light blue eyeshadow with just a hint of blusher. This all works really well with her beautiful pastel coloured fur which changes from pink to violet with some shades of galaxy blue in between. While her intense cuteness is the main reason why Animal Crossing fans can't wait to invite her to their islands, her personality is also quite unique as she's the only snooty cub in the game. As a snooty villager, she's obsessed with style and appearance, and especially that of the interior of her home, which is decorated with star wallpaper and star garlands to match her eyes, and there's cute pastel-coloured block furniture in there to match her coat. Basically, you only need to take one good look at her to realise why she's a true star of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Looks like Audi has said adios to the second most wanted spot on AnimalCrossingPortal.com's popularity list because this month she's settling into third position. In Japan, France and Spain, this fantastic Mrs Fox is known as Monica, but for those of us playing the English language version of New Horizons, her name is Audi, and this modern Monica could be the reason why she's currently one of the most wanted villagers in the game. You see, Audi takes her name from perhaps the most famous Animal Crossing player of all time, 88-year-old Audrey, who rose to Animal Crossing stardom after her grandson released a video of her showing off her 3,500-hour-plus game of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the 3DS. Audrey's mayor in her town is called Audi 2, so giving one of the new villagers her name seems like a perfect tribute to one of the game's most well-known and well-loved players. 
Audie also has one of the best interiors for her house, which, as long as you met her later in the game and didn't have her as a starter villager, will be decorated to look like a tropical paradise, with special animated wallpaper that creates the illusion of waves lapping against the edge of the room. Audie is super positive and she loves to chat about her hobbies, which are singing and dancing, so she'll always brighten up your day if you take the time to talk to her. Not only that, but she might share some fashion tips with you too. Poor old Marshall continues his fall from grace as he squirrels away a spot at number four on this popularity list. At one point, this teeny tiny little marshmallow matey with his big fluffy tail was the most popular villager in New Horizons, so maybe this is one sought after nut that most players have already been able to crack. Despite Marshall's constant frown, he's another smug villager that, just like Raymond, should get on with pretty much all of the animal pals on your island. But what makes Marshall so sought after in the game? Well, it's not his acorny jokes, that's for sure. More likely, it's down to just how darn cute he is with his big eyes, big head, tiny body and a little bit of a blush to his cheeks, causing quite the cute contrast against his default expression of resting cranky face. Marshall isn't just sweet to look at though, he's also really fun to talk to, and just like the soft sweets he takes his name from, he'll always leave a smile on your face. Just don't expect to find him swimming in any of the lakes on your island, because just like all squirrels, he prefers to keep his nuts dry. <laughs> Anka here is our first new entry in the top 10 most popular villagers list for May 2020, and as you can see, this Egyptian-inspired cat is definitely going for gold. Anka is no stranger to the Animal Crossing series, having appeared in every game except Animal Forest and Wild World. It's in New Horizons where you'll find her most regal of residences though. As you can see here, the interior is inspired by the Egyptian pyramids, with golden furnishings, hieroglyphs, an actual pyramid as the centrepiece, and heck, she even has a golden throne to sit on. Although she might want to get a golden window put in after I'm done sitting on it. <clears throat> Sorry. Anka's look is also pretty striking, and atop her head she wears a headdress adorned with a cobra which resembles the Nemes crown, something that symbolised kingship in ancient Egypt. Anka's name is also a play on the Ankh hieroglyph, which symbolises life, so if like Anka you enjoy the finer things in life, you should definitely reserve a spot for this mummified moggy on the top of your pyramid scheme. <laughs> Here's another newcomer to the top 10, Coco the hollow-headed horror who's hurried her way to the top 10 from her previous position right down in tier 2. So why on earth has Coco had such a huge surge in popularity this month? Well, perhaps it's because Easter weekend was last month and people were keen to celebrate by hosting a real-life chocolate bunny on their islands. I mean, anything's got to be better than zippity bunny, right? <laughs> Those of you out there who have never seen Coco before may be wondering what's up with her face though, or lack of it to be more precise, as she's only got deep black holes where her eyes and mouth should be. Well, her expressionless visage is actually reminiscent of gyroids, you know, the things that you have to give donations to when you're adding bridges or slopes to your island. Gyroids are based on something called Haniwa, which are small terracotta clay figurines that were buried with the dead in Japan between the 3rd and 6th centuries. In some Haniwa, the ashes from the dead were mixed into the clay of the statue, creating the kind of imperfections we can see here on Coco's coat. This has led to the spooky theory that Coco is actually the ghost of a dead villager who is possessing and animating this weird artificial body. But isn't this kind of a dark twist for a game like Animal Crossing? I should Coco. Diana, the Queen of Elegance, is back in the top 10 this month and she's holding fast to her spot at number 7 on the list. Diana is the only snooty deer villager in the series and her well-spoken demeanour makes her every inch the sought-after sophisticated lady. 
Diana's name likely comes from Diana, the Roman goddess of the hunt, whose symbol was a deer and, as you can see here, the Animal Crossing version of Diana lives in a house that's decorated in the style of an elegant Roman bathhouse. So that fits in rather well with this theory. When Diana isn't wandering around town looking down her nose at all the common lower tier villagers, she'll often be pampering herself in a fancy bathtub, which she'll then boast about because, well, that's her prerogative, darling. <laughs> You've heard about a sweet tooth, but what about a sweet horn? Well, along with having one of those, meringue here is also basically a strawberry shortcake on legs. So if you like puddings, you better hope that this awesome sauce rhinoceros deserts her hometown and comes to live with you. Obviously, part of Meringue's popularity is down to how she looks, with that unique upturned strawberry horn, her pink frosting colourings, and her cute little chef's outfit that rounds the whole ensemble off. And as long as Meringue isn't one of your starter villagers, she'll also build a beautiful bakery-inspired base to live in, with an ice cream cone light in the corner of the room complementing the 50s diner-inspired furniture, which all comes in the colour of strawberry pink, of course. If you're after a super sweet villager to brighten up your town and add more sugar than spice to your island, meringue should definitely be your just dessert. But be warned, her placement on this list means that finding her may not be a piece of cake. Lovely, dependable fauna is back in at number 9 this month, proving that personality trumps appearance once again. You see, at first glance at least, Fauna looks like a standard run-of-the-mill character, with clothes that tend to be more functional than flamboyant, and a coat that resembles that of a real-life deer. Perhaps deep down she wants to wear fancier outfits, but maybe she just finds them too dear. Who knows, but what we do know is that Fauna is one of the sweetest souls in the game, and she'll always compliment you and try to make you feel better about yourself when you're feeling down. Not only that, but she also spends a good portion of her day fawning over your gardens and making sure that all your flowers are watered. So she's not just good for you, she's good for your island too. If you're lucky enough to bump into Fauna when you visit a random island, make sure you take the time to invite her to stay with you, because before long, she'll be a dear, dear friend. <laughs> And finally, holding fast at number 10 on the New Horizons popularity list is Stitches, a perfect patchwork pal who clearly resembles a child's stuffed toy, right down to the stitchings for his eyes. Stitches is a lazy personality type, but that doesn't mean he'll lounge around doing nothing. In fact, you can often find him in the museum, where he'll be learning about all those hard-earned fish you've donated. When he's not stuffing his brain with fish facts, you'll also be able to find him in his kiddie themed house, dreaming about stuffing his stomach with all kinds of yummy food. It's safe to say that it's this cheerful disposition which makes him pretty popular with players, but combine that with his colourful coat and his unique house interior, and you've got one lush plush for your collection. <laughs> So, there we go, those were the current 10 most popular villagers in Animal Crossing New Horizons, according to AnimalCrossingPortal.com. But which villagers are your favourites? Are they on this list, or do you think they've been unfairly left off? Let us know in the comments below, and please do accept my apologies if any of your favourites visit Swindon and then instantly lose their popularity, like Sherb here did. Sorry, Sherb. Thanks for watching this video, do give it a like and do subscribe to Eurogamer for more Animal Crossing videos coming very soon. And if you haven't had your fill of Animal Crossing yet, there are some more videos for you to click on on screen right now. Goodbye and good villager hunting. Right, guess it's time to uh, head on home, just uh, make my way through my piles of rubbish, lovely Swindon Beach here. Ooh. Look at that crisp packets. Oh, ow, 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 burn my leg on the fire. I'll put it on the leaves. Oh.